My name is Don Solinger. I coached here for 16 years. Coached uh, linebackers, tight ends, the first five with Jimmy Johnson. And then uh, coached the running backs, and I was special teams coordinator. Just got voted into the Hall of Fame last night. And I'm looking forward to talking to you guys and letting you know how I feel about what's going on. Real two. Real two. Come on up here, man. Come here. I want to tell you what. You know, they put me in the Hall of Fame. That guy put me in the Hall of Fame right there. He's the best. This guy would tell you, I'd say, EJ, you go to class? Yep, I'm going to class. Whatever he said, you could bank it. You could stick it in. You could bank it. You knew what was going on. One of the best people, not forget football, one of the best people I've ever been associated with. That's the truth, bro. <laughs> Every guy, I put 10 guys in the league that play running back. All we did was win. That's all I'm about. I'm about you doing the right thing, being the best you can be, and winning. That's what I'm about. But I wrote this in 1974. And I give it to every athlete I coach. It's called Attitude of a Champion. I don't know if you still got it, EJ, but I gave it to every single guy I coached. I said, stick it on a mirror. I'm going to read this to you. It's called Attitude of a Champion. And it starts like this. It says, every young man who possesses an interest in athletic competition dreams of becoming a champion. For many, dreaming is the extent of their efforts. Others are willing to go part way, but only those who have the desire and courage to do everything within their power to fully utilize their God-given abilities will ever reach the height of a champion. The road to a championship is long and hard, but possible by those who are willing to accept the challenge. If we are to accept this challenge, we must develop the following attitude factors. Desire is the most important single characteristic to the success of a football player. Most of the following factors can be developed providing the desire is great enough. There is no substitute. You must love to play football and possess the desire to become the best in the game. The next thing is courage. Anyone can be ordinary, guys. It takes courage to excel to be a cut above. Aggressiveness, pride. Pride refers not only to personal pride, but pride in your team, your school, your family, and your community as well. Personal pride does not consist of telling everyone how, how great you are, but involves caring for personal appearance, practicing good health habits, and maintaining high moral standards and conforming to the rules of etiquette so that your total behavior will command the respect of others. You win because you take care of your business off the field so you can take care of it on the field. Command the respect of others how you carry yourself, how you walked around, saying something and then sticking to your word like that man. And I say M-A-N, capital M-A-N. When you make a commitment to play for the University of Miami, you are no longer representing yourself. But you are a member of a team representing your school and your community. Conduct yourself in such a manner that they can be proud of you and you can be proud of yourself. It ain't you anymore. It's us. It's we. Another aspect of pride is pride in your position on a football team. If you're a tackle, you should be proud of being a tackle and continue to strive to become the very best at your position. Every time you make a block or a tackle, it must be better than the time before. Never be satisfied to remain the same. Work to improve. Cooperation. There's no job in this world which permits you to have unrestricted expressions of your own wishes in all jobs, in all associations, and in all games. You must learn to give a little personal feeling for the cause of the group. 
It's us. It's we. It's team. It's not me. Cooperation in football for the willingness of each man to play his position assigned to him and perform to the duties of that position at the very best of his ability. If you feel things aren't going right, do not air with your fellow players. Come directly to one of the coaches, talk frankly about your problem. But let me first urge you to analyze yourself carefully. It is a good habit. Develop it early in life. Reliability. Reliability is a must in athletics. Our success may hinge on how well you discharge your responsibilities. We must all strive to perform every duty assigned to us to the uh, signed to us to the most sincere and reliable fashion humanly possible. Do a thorough job of everything asked of you in football, and you'll be cultivating a characteristic which will forever stand in good stead. That's why I say get it done in the classroom. Get it done. Take your pride on all your stuff that you do. Take your pride off the field. Start doing things that are hard to you off the field, and you know what's going to happen on the field? Because you love playing ball. It's going to just shoot to the, to the ceiling. Take care of your stuff off the field. On the field, it'll be unbelievable. Confidence. Every great athlete and every great team possesses the mental attitude of confidence. Confidence is not complacency, but is it a quality which stirs within you the feeling that you are superior to your opponents, and, and with a proper effort, you will win. Confidence just doesn't happen. It must be earned. It is a product of rigid training and conditioning, long hours on the practice field, and co conforming to everyday standards of a champion. <coughs> Discipline. Discipline is a factor which goes right along with cooperation. Discipline includes not only strict adherence to training rules, but also the acceptance of criticism from coaches, the acceptance of hard work in practice, and the willingness to follow the leadership of coaches and captains. Many players resent comment and criticism from the coaches because they fail to understand the reason. The coaches see in you the ability which is not taking expression, and it is hoped that it can be brought to its full functional capacity. It is the coach's wish to help you bring out your best. Really, everybody is working for a common goal, a winning team for the University of Miami. You'll be a much better football player if training rules are observed. Any man who does not live up to them is unfair to the school, his team, and above all, he's unfair to himself. Discipline yourself to follow rules, carry out assignments, and follow leadership of your coaches and captains. Make the necessary sacrifices and develop these qualities we've been discussing, and you will find the results of your efforts of lasting value and great satisfaction. Make your football experience worthwhile and enjoyable by doing it right. Who do you want to line up against? You want to line up against a guy that don't work hard in the weight room? You want a guy... guy Line up a guy that's lying, says, I'm going to class and I ain't going to class. Well, I don't want to line up with that guy. You want to have a guy protecting your backside that ain't doing it right? So uh, I'm going to tell you what. This team is going to be real, real good. Not, not I mean, real good. About whatever you want to do, you'll be able to do, I guarantee you. If you listen and take the guidance of the people around you. Do it right. So I, I figured I, I had to get a poem that kind of means something to guys. Because we're all in this together. So I got a poem by Kipling. It's called Law of the Jungle. You know, and, and some guys say, ah, oh, you're hokey, man. Hey, guys, guys, hey, I saw Ed Reed last year at the Hall of Fame thing. I said, hey, Ed, how you doing? He, boom, breaks down. And he said the last two lines of the poem to me. And, and you know what? I'm going to tell you something. Ed Reed's going to be in the Hall of Fame. So he don't think it's hokey. It's called the Law of the Jungle, and it goes like this. Now, this is the Law of the Jungle, as old and as true as the sky. And the wolf that shall keep it may prosper, but the wolf that shall break it must die. As the creeper that girdled the tree trunk, the law runneth forward and back. For the strength of the pack is the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is the pack. <laughs>